In terms of what happened today on the stock market, I saw trending topics related to stocks in Dow Jones mm -hmm. um, and falling numbers. I heard uh, estimates that the Dow Jones fell 1,100 points okay. today. Um, a lot of people seem to be making a big deal out of it, but why is this a big deal, Ashley? Um, one, it's not a big deal. Oh, okay. Two, I'm excited. This, these are the days where I feel like I wish I was on Wall Street. Yes. Um, so first thing is you have to understand what the Dow Jones is. Yes. So the Dow Jones are the top 30 companies in the United States, the most reputable companies. So look at it like you've got your Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Fendi, and then you have like your Targets, your Walmarts, and things like that. Uh -huh. So the Dow Jones are the most prestigious okay. companies in the United States, top 30. The S&P 500 mm -hmm. are the top 500 stocks in our country. Mm. So it takes a certain type of company to be qualified to sit in the Dow Jones. Mm -hmm. um, not everybody can be in the Dow Jones. Um, but typically, if you want to think of the representation of how our country is do doing, meaning what the easiest way is the average of the, all the companies that are comprised in the Dow Jones or SP 500, it means that the average of all of them dropped drastically. And I believe this was the most it dropped this much in like one day. Yeah, one single day since right. 2008 when right. it was 778. Seven, right. I don't know why so, I remember that number. So, no, that's good. That's actually good. Awesome. Because if you were to buy then, you would have pretty much tripled your money. If you would have bought when everybody was frightened and down. scared. Wow. So, this is, the stock market has been record highs every single day. The market is never always up and is never always down. So this was bound to happen. It actually should have happened if you go off of history, um, maybe about two, three years ago. Um, so it was bound to happen. But just look at it like this. Um, all your favorite companies that you shop at just went on sale 10%. How about that? Meaning, I was just wondering, that has to impact these companies on a big level. Me like that. Meaning that the stock prices dropped. Mm -hmm. So literally look at it like this. The iPhone X is like $1,000. Meaning, last Thursday it was at a thousand. Today you can buy it for nine hundred. Either you buy it at nine hundred now while it's cheap, mm -hmm. it may go lower. You can get it cheaper, but knowing that one day you'll be able to sell it at a higher price. Mm -hmm. So it's more so: are you are you okay with getting it at a discount? Are you too scared? Are you gonna wait till it goes back up to regular price, mm -hmm. or are you gonna wait till it drops more so that you can later then sell it at a higher price? But this is the time where everything goes on sale. <laughs> this is the time where everyone gets scared. So when everybody's getting scared, so essentially all of this happened because of rumors, uh -huh. things that the government, oh, yeah. the government is saying they're going to do or trying to do. Um, the other thing that happened too, just recently, you're going to start to see an increase in prices. So the value of our dollar is going to be less, and things are going to be more expensive. So when things get to be more expensive, less of our money is being used on extra stuff. Meaning, if gas prices go up groceries go up, that means that less of our money is spent going on vacations, less of our money is spent going out to the movies, less of our money is spent going out to eat or buying groupons, which means if less of, less of our money is being spent on leisure activities, mm -hmm. that means those companies are could potentially lose money because now the basic essentials that we need money for is rising. Right, now it's up, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that means if I'm an investor and it's possible that because these, these prices are now going up uh -huh. or the, on the things that we need to spend money on. I'm kind of scared that these companies that I'm investing in, people may not be buying these new iPhones because they may not have enough money. Yeah, maybe if they're going to spend it on something else. Right, if gas prices go up, that means I may not have enough money to go out and party with my friends because I'm, I don't have the money to do it. Mm -hmm. So as an investor, you're scared because all these companies that have been making all of this money, mm -hmm. it now is possible that they may not be making as much money mm -hmm. because prices are going up. And that's essentially what inflation is. So because of that, everyone gets scared. Mm -hmm. Everybody. So when everybody gets scared, they're selling the stocks. And when people are selling the stocks, the price drops. It just so happened that today that everyone's selling, selling, selling. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. What is the government going to do? Oh my gosh, they're saying this, blah, 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 blah. But I always say this is the time, one, you should be excited because this is actually one of the best times you can right. learn mm -hmm. about what is going on with companies. Mm -hmm. so you have to ask yourself, okay, if Apple stock is down 10% and that Thursday it was this price and now it dropped to this price, why? What about this company is frightening investors that's mm -hmm. causing them to sell the stock? What about all the companies that are in the S&P 500? Why is everybody scared? Mm -hmm. But understand that when everybody's scared, everybody sells. When everybody sells, things go on sale. We are the only people that gets frightened when prices drop. Mm -hmm. So just imagine, like I said last time, if you're a new Man, Ferrari. That, that says some things about our mentality, right. how we assess but, value. But think about it. But think about it. When, yeah. Let's take Bitcoin. 
Uh -huh. When Bitcoin was rising, 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 everybody wanted Bitcoin. Yeah. But now the stocks are going down. Oh my gosh, everyone's scared. I don't know what stocks. I'm scared. I'm scared. Anymore? But when everybody wants Bitcoin, which also dropped today, I think to like seven thousand. Like no one wants it anymore, so they're selling it, which is causing the value of Bitcoin to decline. Mm -hmm. Same thing with stocks. Not saying that you should go buy stocks or you should go buy Bitcoin, but when things are cheap, that's when you rack up. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've actually been waiting for this day to happen. Who knows what tomorrow is going to bring? Actually, <laughs> over the corner, like mm -hmm. because. Because Stocks. because everything is yeah. cheap mm -hmm. and, and and the way I the way I always describe it is like when you invest in a company, especially if you're not, I'm not in it to quick flip. I'm literally a long term outlook. I'm in it to win it. Um, my my favorite holding here is forever. I don't sell. Mm -hmm. Now, if I'm that type of person and I believe in the companies, this is that marriage that you have to your stocks. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if I'm buying you. I'm in this until death do us part. Mm. Right now, the all the companies in the stock market, they are pretty much, uh, let's just think of it like, your company's got caught cheating. Are you about to bail on them? Mm -hmm. Or are you about to dump them? Are you saying, I'm, I'm done with this relationship? I'm letting go of you just because you messed up a little bit? Or are we gonna work this out? Mm. Because if I believe in you, and I know that you have the potential to become better and to learn from your mistakes, eventually your value will increase. So for me- The metaphors today. <laughs> the, the, the metaphors. The, the companies that I buy, who cares if our president is making these threats? Who cares if prices are going up? If I believe that over time, over the next 5, 10, 20 years, that you will still be around, that you're still going to be profitable, you are not going away, I'm in it to win it. Mm -hmm. But it just so happens that right now, everybody else might not like you. Right, right. And that's cool with me because I never doubted you from the beginning. So while your price drops, I'm racking up and I'm buying into you even more because I want a bigger return on my investment mm -hmm. because I know you're not going anywhere. Word, 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 word. So for me, this is exciting because literally this is what's supposed to happen two, three years ago. Mm -hmm. it, it, but the, what, what people have to think about now is not saying that you just go in and buy. I would say maybe lunchtime tomorrow. If all of the stocks on your stock app are red, that means that the prices are going down still. Mm -hmm. That means that that iPhone that's 10% off right now, yeah. if, it's, if it goes down to, tomorrow, it could be 20% off. That means it's even cheaper. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, But you have to realize if I buy this iPhone and I truly believe that I can go back and sell this iPhone at $1,000, then I'm going to get it at a cheaper price. The real question is how much are you going to get mm -hmm. at the price that it's dropping to? But it's possible that tomorrow, hey, all these companies may report good news or our president may say something amazing and then the price goes up. It's literally all rumors. It's literally based off of emotion and you have to be able to ride the wave, understand the timing of it, but buy what you know. Like I don't have any company in my portfolio that I do not understand. And research. Yeah, like Which this is, is what I, I use it. I use these products. These are, you know, I, I, I use the social media companies I, I that I invest in. The, the kind of phone that I have, I own the company that makes that phone. Mm -hmm. And am I not am I gonna stop buying Apple because the stock price drop? Absolutely not. Like I want a better camera or I'm gonna get me a newer iPhone. You know, like so so you, you just have to think about one, stop reading into the news because it's all hype. Yeah. Literally, there's a headline on there. Literally, right now, I was teaching at Cheney today. Dropped 400 points. Dropped 500 points. Dropped 800 points. I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on in the world? But that's to me, that's exciting mm -hmm. because the prices are dropping, and that means it's cheaper. And if you bought in back in 2008, you really didn't. You haven't lost any money. You just you may have lost the gains that came in in the month of February in 2018, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that. You cannot capitalize off of this because when everybody runs, you go towards it. Mm -hmm. When everybody gets scared, you get excited. When, when everybody gets excited, when everybody asks me about Bitcoin, don't get too excited. I don't want any parts of anything that everybody's excited about. Mm -hmm. You should have worried about Bitcoin when nobody cared about it, when nobody was paying it any mind, because that's when you would have made the most money. Mm -hmm. Not when everybody is hot. When, but think about it in life. Like think about that girl in school. The girl that everybody wanted mm -hmm. was a popular girl, mm -hmm. but nobody paid attention to that up and coming millionaire that just changed the game when we grew up and got older. You know, and that's that's what you gotta look at with these companies. Couldn't have said it any better myself. I wouldn't have because I didn't know all that. <laughs> that's <laughs> Ashley Fox of Empify to my left. I, I I think you bring up a lot of good points of of reasons why <laughs> we should not. I mean, I, I think every lesson that you give us are reasons not to fear uh, the moves that we make with our money, and and I think this was kind of a lesson in not fearing. Um, what we always hear from the stock market. Like, I got confused, and what's the first thing I did? I was like, Ashley, can you explain this? Now, Joe, <laughs> that's, that's the media's job. There's no job. reason to do that. That's the media's job. 
Yeah, that's, well, yeah, of course. That's the media's job. We've got to sensational, but sensational. But same thing people. happened with Bitcoin. Everything mm-hmm. in the media was so amazing, and everyone, it's just like we, we go off of emotion. And when it comes to your money, you can't operate off of emotion. You have to operate off of intellect and pure belief that what you are investing in, no matter what that rumor says over there, or what this paper says, or what this mm-hmm. person says, mm-hmm. I believe in what I'm buying. And yeah. if you are in it to win it, there is no, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I just I'm lost money today. Somebody. I'm going to dip my yeah, no, like, like, nah, I probably, I probably Probably lo- I don't even know if I lost money today. I, my gains are just not as high as it was before. But for me, ask me how my portfolio is doing when I'm 40 years old. I was about to say, like, you're that's life. what that that is what matters. Stop to saying me. going nowhere. And by the time my by the time I'm 40, I'm just going to be living off dividends that are being paid. Where I don't have to sell out of anything that I own. But we have to stop thinking so short term with our money and understand how this game is played. This market will not be negative for the rest of our life and based off of history it always bounces back the market is never always negative it's never always positive Amen. we just got to get in the game in order to win the game or at least play the game score some points in the game we can't just sit on the sideline and just be like oh my gosh i'm so scared because the media says it's, it's no like i was literally excited like excited and if it goes down even cheaper that's even better for me because again all the people that say oh i don't have 200 dollars to invest in in facebook stock or apple stock is dropping yep and you just or whatever company like I don't even have to be the big one. Yeah, like I, I bought my niece Disney at a hundred. It was a hundred and eleven dollars a couple weeks ago. Now it's a hundred and four. Okay, she's still seven months years old. She's not going to college for another seventeen years. We'll be okay. Yeah, I think I, I think that's safe. And the, the long term approach definitely seems to be one that you know not just in the approach to investing, but also for those folks. You know, a lot of my friends who are like checking these these stock apps. They have these. You know, it's cool Hunter. to watch. You but... know, I'm watch, but it's a little bit more than just you know, kind of you know, putting some money in the pot and then crossing your fingers. I mean, so much you said research and, and you mentioned research and timing is kind of being important things to pay attention to here. Yet, yeah, you know, don't let the you know, don't let media messages kind of sensationalize you and carry you away. Right. Uh, of course, but paying attention to when changes and shifts or trends. Another word I wrote down in the, in the market kind of shift. And change is a big part of investing. You have to intentionally do this. You're not randomly throwing in money to gamble with. That's right. not what the stock market is. Right. Um, That's, but so, it, people can do that. They're day traders. Sure. But everything that I teach and I represent is building wealth. Wealth is forever. So this isn't something I do not get rich right. quick. I do not play that game. I am in it to win it. My kids will be able to go to college because of what I invested in at age 29. And that's how I see life. And I think as a black community, that's what we have to focus on because we are behind. Uh-huh. We we don't have time to just chill and for our kids to have to work just as hard. We have to set them up even uh-huh. if our kids are not here yet. Right. Um, everything I do is for what comes after me. And I think that is what matters. Um, and just flipping money, that's just not the game that I play. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just don't play the game.